What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Mitch of Inspiration, back with another episode of The Fatherhood Files. It has been a minute, and I'm going to tell y'all why, man. It's been a lot going on, uh, but I appreciate y'all. If it's your first time coming to my channel, I appreciate y'all. If it's your numerous time coming to my channel, thank y'all for keep coming back to get this content. This channel is devoted to fatherhood in terms of just guidance, experience, what men really need to know to be the best father they could possibly be. Um, as usual, I'm in my son's nursery. Um, this is kind of our safe haven and why we record in here um, as we do a lot of bonding in here. Um, and as you can see, Logan has gotten a lot bigger. Logan is eight months old now. Say, I eight months old. Yeah, man, so Logan is eight months old now. Ain't that right, bud? Yeah, him eight months, big boy. So, man, I just want to talk about what like what's been going on. Um, I kind of shared in some previous episodes that I've been, I was a stay-at-home dad um, due to just this economy, making sure I can keep a job has been kind of tough over the past year. But I finally have obtained another full-time position. Um, which is interesting because it's not even what I went to school for. I'm actually working in the marketing space right now. So shouts out to all my marketing friends out there who may be watching. Um, but I'm enjoying it. I'm working for my local towns, chain, Chamber of Commerce. So making sure that social media, logos, all that branding, everything stays on point, man. So I've been there for about a month now. Um, and it's been good, man. But it's been tough because I've had to navigate life, not keeping Logan all day, every day. But once again, my mom is a great resource. She holds us down. She makes sure we have what we need. Um, and a point of emphasis, Logan will be starting daycare in um, next month, August the 7th. So daycare prices, y'all, out of, the, out of control, out of control. It's literally like paying another mortgage or another monthly rental fee if you have an apartment. Um, me and my wife, we just ain't at a space where we trying to pay an arm and a leg for daycare full time. So we did find a daycare that we like, actually the original daycare that we wanted to put Logan in um, is the one we went with. It's a nice environment. Um, they have a lot of people who look like us there, which is a big key component for us. Um, there's a lot of diversity, diversity, diversity. Um, the curriculum is awesome. Um, the things they're going to be teaching, Logan, even in this young age of eight months, is going to be great. We got to see some hands-on activities of them working with the kids with their motor skills. Um, so we're very, very um, excited to see the growth that's going to take place with Logan um, while he's in this daycare situation. Um, but yeah, man, it's just been a, a lot going on. Like I said, navigating, being back full-time employed again. The good part is my job is maybe two or three miles from Logan's daycare. So if he ever anything ever comes up, I have access to him. It won't be an issue. Um, and that's a blessing. That's good to know. Um, I would rather have a shorter commute to get to him than a longer one if something were to happen. Um, but Logan is active now. He literally went from maybe two weeks ago, still trying to figure out how to crawl, to boom, just active doing it. And so, fellas, that's one thing you got to look out for. Like, what your kids may not be able to do one day, they might do the next day. <laughs> so, this man is crawling. We ain't really baby-proof the house yet. So, he been trying to go after certain things that babies don't need to be touching. I got a little computer desk. So, he been pulling at my little surge protector and all this little stuff. So, we're definitely going to have to do better with baby-proofing the house and making sure that we're keeping Logan safe and that he doesn't put himself in harm's way. Um, a lot of our furniture is just primarily lower so he can get to it easier. Um, and so moving forward, we're going to have to navigate how we're going to handle purchasing furniture and stuff, at least for these maybe one or two years while Logan is going to be super, super active. Um, but yeah, man, Logan is doing better, man. He's sleeping more at night. He's sleeping all night a lot more consistently now, which is a blessing. 
Um, he does have his moments in the middle of the night where he freaks out. But I live in an apartment. I'm on the second floor. Our third floor neighbors are so loud late at night. I don't know what their day consists of. Because, like, when I wake up to go to work, like, all the cars are gone. And then when I come back from work, everybody's car is here. So I don't know their schedule, but I get so upset and frustrated when I put Logan down to sleep or if my wife puts him down to sleep. And all we hear is heavy feet. Like, you ain't even got to walk hard on these floors that we have. And it absorbs contact really well. So for that to be as loud and thunderous as it sounds, them folk upstairs got some some monster feet or something going on because that ain't it. Um, also, Father's Day has passed since we last saw each other. My Father's Day was amazing, man. Um, just to wake up and like I said, for those who don't know, I've always wanted to be two things in life, a husband and a father. And I completed those things in that order. Um, and I guess that's how it's supposed to be if you look at it from a certain perspective. Um, but just waking up to knowing that I'm a father, knowing the biblical context of what that means, because, you know, as a Christian man, it's my responsibility to reflect how God loves me as his child with my son. You going to write, bud? So the thing is, you know, I always think about John 3, 16, and it says, for God so loved the world that he gave. So those two important pieces in that first part of that scripture are love and gave. So it reminds me that giving is a huge component of what love looks like, especially um, for parents. And it's, it manifests like you're giving your time, you're giving your energy, you're giving your love, you're nurturing, you're washing clothes, you're changing diapers, you're... Stopping babies from coughing. You're <laughs> making bottles. Like, you're giving, giving, giving. Like, and it has to be an unselfish uh, form of giving because if you have a child and you're only thinking about yourself, that's a problem. Obviously, you want to take out time to practice self-care, but that should be away from your child. Um, but when you're with your child, you need to be focused on making sure their needs are being met. Um, physically, spiritually, emotionally. Um, so every night before Logan goes to sleep, I pray for him. He'll actually be having his official baby blessing this Sunday. So I'm looking forward to my pastor actually giving an impactful prayer over his life. And we're excited for the plans that God has for him. So, you know, other than that, we can't really complain. Um, I don't really have anything specific I wanted to talk about today. Just wanted to kind of share some updates with you guys. I'll get back on the more scheduled out, planned out content a little later. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to update y'all on what's going on. You know, times is hard for everybody economically. Anybody who has one child or more in this economy, God bless you, um, because it takes a lot. So, you know, when you have people that are willing to hand things down to you or purchase things for you, you, you thank those people. You have a higher sense of gratitude because we've been super fortunate since Logan was born to where we've only had to buy like little things like diapers and wipes. And, you know, we've gotten a surplus of clothes, surplus of clothes, whether that's been purchased or passed down. Um, and so we're just thankful that we didn't have to start from the very, very bottom when Logan came into this world. We were pretty much set up for success um, and we're thankful for that. So um, thank you to everybody who's contributed to Logan's life financially, through necessities, through their prayers, through, through those moments of interacting with him. We appreciate those people. Um, I think the one thing I'm super focused on right now is making sure that the right people are in Logan's life. Um, and my philosophy is simply this, like I'm not setting any unrealistic expectations with people. For those who choose to be a part of Logan's life, they will have access to him. And what I mean by choose to is calling, checking in on him. You know, if opportunities come and they volunteer, or if we ask and they say yes, 
when it comes to watching him so me and my wife can have some, you know, date nights or anything like that. Like, those are the things I'm always going to be keeping track of in my mind. Um, I know, you know, we haven't had much um, opportunities to be around family. So Logan got to meet a lot of my family on my mom's side not too long ago at a family function. So I'm interested and excited to see how those relationships will develop. But I'm not pressing nobody to be in my son's life. If you want to be in his life, that's great. We'll make it happen. If you don't want to be in his life, I don't really care. I'm not going to view you in any, any negative way. I mean, we all grown. We got lives to live. If you got the time to commit, commit it. If you don't, that's okay. I'm not judging nobody. I'm not playing those games, man. But at the end of the day, Logan got his mom. He got his dad. And that's all, in, in essence, that he needs because we are his family. He is our family. Um, he is a byproduct of our love. So we're responsible for him if nobody else chooses to be. Um, and so with that being said, man, that's what I'm kind of looking at moving forward. Like, who are those people um, that are going to come and, you know, engage themselves with Logan and build those relationships with Logan and, you know, making sure we can trust them and trust their role in Logan's life and things like that. But eight months goes by fast. Um, Logan is growing every day. He's starting to mimic different movements we do. He can wave by. I don't know if he'll do it for y'all today. Sometimes he don't like being put on the spot, but if he's just casually chilling, he'll do it. Um, but I ain't gonna put that pressure on him today. He just uh, was in the car napping. We had to make a little grocery store run, so he's a little tired right now. But um, just wanted to give you guys some life updates. Um, let y'all know what's going on my way. Let y'all know what's going on with Logan. And like I said, I'll be coming back with some more uh, intentional content in the upcoming weeks. Um, I really do want to make sure that I'm not just up here just winging it like I'm doing today all the time. I want to make sure I'm giving fathers like quality information. But in hindsight, even the things I'm winging about are still important components of fatherhood, um, especially if you're a first time father. Um, and so those are the things that, you know, I want to make sure are being delivered on this channel. Um, so with that being said, my boy is getting sleepy again. I don't want to, you know, have him in here suffering, listening to daddy. So I'm going to try to rock him back to sleep. You waking up again? You see the camera? You say hi. You say hi to the camera. Not today. It's okay, buddy. But all right, y'all. Just wanted to keep it brief today. Um, like I said, appreciate y'all for staying with me. Much more to come. Fatherhood files are just beginning. I'm trying to get back on point. So y'all keep me accountable. Comment, share, all those things. Subscribe. I'm still on the road to a thousand followers. I know I am consistent and I get off track, but I'm trying my best to remain as consistent as I can based on where life has me. I'm definitely on that road to a thousand followers. So every subscription helps. Um, and I appreciate y'all, man. So with that being said, we out. Peace.